bit of a default to kick things off. See if MABR was going to do anything aggressive. That's aggressive. That'll work. That works. We'll take those. First bullet fired in the match. And then Sani headshot slacks. It's going to be dropped, peeling back from middle. He can reinforce a site of his choosing. He'll go with A. It's very heavy setup right now. But MAT looking like they want this B split. Is that camera smoke coming in? Does seem like it will be. So M80 right now, they're making the correct gamble despite being a man down. Good rotation for drop. He yeah. gets ahead of things. This is a very, very decisive move out of drop. Trying to get ahead of that smoke that falls over towards camera. How far will I go? Slipping oh. on through. Drop. Oh. Going to deal with wow. him right away. And so that flank never gets to come to fruition. Double dark setup, and Insani already hit a blinder to open up this pistol round as they try and chase him and get him off the angle. He's not alone in this fight. Two players in the dark room, and Safe gonna pick that up. Leaves it all on Sin. Can't swing on out. And so MIBR pull up with a pistol round to open up Anubis. Well, I said they were red hot coming into this game, and that's just based off of their group stage. But despite a week off of play, removing Heroic with a dominant third map, the other day, they now kick off with a very strong pistol. Look at these one taps from Insani and Drop. Barely see him. That's in slow mo. They are locked in right now. Bompon is a consolation for M80, and it will allow for second round AK on Lake. Gets that dropped over by his captain believing that he wants to get Lake activated ASAP in this quarterfinal. Doesn't fire off, doesn't spam, doesn't want to reveal the fact that an AK is in play in round two, because this is not the most common thing with the money change down to 600. You have to drop over that AK and just buy nothing in order to make it happen. So... We've seen teams lean more into these Galil utilless buys, even lacking head armor on Swisher on Slack. So M80 looking for a contact B right now, trying to get an entry. But the smoke comes in at the perfect timing for MABR. They're also trying to piece the puzzle together. You can see them re-clearing mid, sort of getting some information there. So let's see what the rotate is going to be now. Long range MP9. Don't see that very often. <laughs> Would be great against armorless players, but M80 are anything but that as they surround this B bomb site. Rex's going to put some pressure in A main. He's lurking right now. He's going to be on the backstab. Oh, he's shooting. Rex resetting, forcing you to that. Will stall rotation, but safe is going to backstab this whole play. That one's free. Oh, Ooh, another from that backline push. Go now it's Sani going to try and run down the bomb plant. I can't quite find him. But still, there's enough done in the round already from this flank. And now from Insani is that b site holder to lock it in for MIBR. They keep it flawless. Well, that mid flank was beautiful for safe as well. And Lake with the AK doesn't even fire a bullet. He is the first guy dead, shot in the back. And two rifles removed before M80 even get in the site. Again, they just get that consolation bomb plant, but that's not what they wanted after such a hefty investment. Dude, yeah, I mean, the, the one thing that could have made you nervous in that round there was MIBR kind of conceding the dark control, but they're well aware of that. And so the response is, you know, if you potentially split the B site through dark and main, you're going to have safe get a little bit aggressive over in mid. The timing on that was perfect. And so MIBR very comfortably off to this 2-0 start. Yet to break a sweat, and that's in spite of MAE coming in with the force buy in the second round. I love that util combo, though. They're keeping the pressure on. That's a very hard Molotov to hit while running, and uh, it will stop the CTs from getting dark control quickly unless they want to tank it or smoke the molly. So MAT play a bit of pace towards dark. One player won't make it. Just reckon Sin in this position instead, but with almost nothing to play with. This is surely going to be another clean round for MIBR. Flash is a little awkward, but Molotov will reassure it. And M80 just get turned into dust. Here's the problem is that M80 isn't really getting into these rounds at all, right? So you're 3-0 down, you're about to go into the first proper gun round, but, you know, the confidence isn't... No. Quite there just yet, yeah, just individually for all these players. They're just getting wrecked. They're not even getting duels, right? They're getting shot in the back, on the side.
just really outmaneuvered early on from MIBR. So just this is where you need a strong round just to get your players into the game a little bit. Yeah, I also, I mean, you, you didn't get a kill over the first two rounds. So it's like, yeah, you, you're, you're dead on. Not only are you coming in feeling a little bit cold, but you know it's going to be a real uphill battle here. MIPR are entrenched on this CT side. They're going to keep the buys coming through, even if you win this one, if you're M80. So they've got to start changing their fortune Ooh, sooner so rather gross. than later. It's Ow. close for Wreck, but close ain't going to cut it right now. They need it. Nice little decision, and Sin makes that move, pushing up, calling the bluff for the B-side players as he edges through that smoke. Gets out with a kill for free and an early man advantage for M80. Oh, that's a cheeky way to find a 5-on-4 here for M80, but have they got the finisher here with a minute on the clock? They've got enough nades to pump and execute. It does look like it's going to be A. Meanwhile, again, aggression, the answer on the CT side of Anubis. Insani gets the info, and we just need to see a gamble, right? Rotates off. Will, M8, will MIBR rather make that call? Drop is leaving the site, leaving Insani alone. M80, they're really dedicating manpower to this fake, though. The flash in main gets nothing. And M80, they hear players in the site. They go hunting. Exit gets his kill. Bomb is here as well. It's very split. They're playing both sides at the same time. We've got two and two. We need them to pick an option right now. Insani gets spotted. They push out dog. They'll get the kill. And that opens up the path for the bomb. Sin has done so much in this round for M80. Plant now in, and if nothing presents itself Ooh. soon, oh. you will just be looking to save this as well, but you can knock this AWP out of the fray, though, and what now you manage that. Three on three, right. Sin is super low, but they're just too far removed. So they will make that decision to go and save the AWP, and out of all the ways to lose your first round if you're MIBR, this is about what you were hoping for. You get out of it with the AWP, you manage to keep players alive, and you knock everyone from M80 out of the round. Oh, dear. Swish, uh, his life is far from guaranteed here. And so it's a round that M80 win, but they lose everyone. Ooh. On the macro perspective, that's really good from MIBR, right? Like, you're making the round extremely costly for them. I mean... Sin has 4,100, three players are on 3,500, one has 3,800. You guys will see soon enough the buy for M80 is not going to be amazing. A lot of Galils if they want utility. That was a great opening move. I'm with you, Hugo, you know, in a 5v4 to be that spread out um, for M80. Could have gotten a little bit risky. If Sin doesn't get the kill on Insani, or mm -hmm. if Insani can finish the frag on him, all of a sudden the round becomes awkward. Actually, it would have been a 3v4 from M80 at that point in time. So let's see what they have cooked up for this round, where the buy for MIBR is superior. Yeah. Flash out the con as well. They go aggressive and dark. I don't know if M80 are ready for this. No one's looking right now. Sax is going to have to take the angle quick and they swing as a three. That's an ugly spray. Breno with a chance for two would have made this an even round, but damage paints M80. MIBR, they've made some nice aggressive moves on the CT side. Some reactive, some forcing the issue at the start of the round. This one leaves them a little lacking. Just so many flashes. Here's the orb going for it. Safe gets his pick and he equalizes things. 7 0 for the AWP of Safe is a great way to start the game. Oh dear. Disastrous miss smoke as well. That's not going to fake anyone out. So M80 back to the drawing board in this three on three. Yeah, you do hate that if you're M80. That was the one smoke you still had. And it's accomplished nothing over towards B main. Might end up wishing that you had that to try and get across Temple here as that AWP lies in wait. Save with the line, just holding on. They can try and molly him off, sure, but yeah, they give him the straight up fight. Managed to get that second player through, but there's no one there to trade. That second man will have to run across the AWP and Swisher narrowly gets on by. It's exit up next, trying to stand the test of time as they split upon him, wreck from heavens. But that wow. AWP is still a problem. Bomb now away from M80. Time is running out. Run down by Saves Tech 9. Wow. Does it on the AWP, does it with the pistols. It's a big round and a Hot start from safe, topping the charts at 10 and 0.
MIBR can very much rely on their AWPA. That's so awkward. You know, Swisher going to help his teammate with Heaven, but that just gives Safe that millisecond move to come out of camera and pick the bomb falling in. Swisher has to stick. He hasn't got the time, and Safe calls it. Beautiful round for Safe. Makes the aggressive move early in the three on four to equalize and plays passive enough that M80 just walk into him. Right now, they're giving him the kills. Four and one for MIBR on the CT side of Anubis. 10 and 0 for Safe. I mean, yeah. really stepping up in this game so far, finding a lot of impact. And it's going to be back to pistols for M80. Wonder if we'll see a pace change, right? Something a little more poppy. Yeah, you almost, to an extent, have to, but that's also, if you're MIBR, that's what you're playing against the next round, right? Ooh. Wow. Yeah, no more than one. That's a nice try, but they're going to push A anyway. M80 through the smoke. Get there. Just desserts from exit. Three kills on the hold. And Insani was talking about exit in his in his interview on HLTV as well, saying that, you know, in this new role now in some position, switching one's drop to cover IGL, that this is the best he's seen in exit play either. So um, getting a little bit from both sides in this role swap for MIBR. And the first time out used by M80, let's see what Death has in store for us. In reality, it hasn't been, you know, you can't say that M80 was, is playing really bad at the moment and just MIBR is capitalizing on it. And just some small details here and there, save stepping up in that reset round. Uh, not being able to win a clean round, but I mean, that's also like, you know, you're just the, the objective here is to win the round. Not, yeah. You know, that's good enough. It doesn't have to be a flawless round, but it's all impacting the economy of M80. Quick lurk, smoke and B. And we don't see them blocking it like Major did. Mm. Did it so many times. Swisher having a look-see, tucks in on the break, so trying not to give away the information that there's three players outside of this site. They're not execing right now, though, unless Lake plans to come back from middle. They're just contacting with the orb, looking for an entry kill. That's an attempt, but it's not pretty. Breno somehow still alive, and there any needs to flush him out. Insani attempts to support. Swisher gets caught at main. The molly does work wonders, and if Insani goes wide, he'll die to the orb. Sin forcing all these kills. Right now, the captain putting M80 on his back and trying to win them rounds on his own. Well, the aggression's held this time. Safe somehow still doesn't die. And he may as well save. Exit giving it a look, maybe just seeing if someone's going to overextend it. He could get a kill on the way out, keep that pressure on the economy of M80, but this round obviously beyond being salvaged. And for me, 80 just. The goal being in this round, group up a little bit more, right? Don't be too spread out. Just use the B lurk smoke, see what the reaction is, and just put pressure on that B bomb site. Slacks being able to find drop on the rotating temple, uh, finding the kill on Breno as well. Insani there couldn't do too much, being isolated. So we'll see if MIBR now just sends safe towards B to combat something like that. If you're M8, you probably want to try to pressure something else now, like throw the Lurk Smoke and, and try to work mid, perhaps. Try to be one step ahead. Just another slow round. I mean, for that's why on Anubis, you know, for the CTs, it's tough. You, you can't hold anything for a prolonged period of time, so you're forced into plays just like this. And M80 with a great read uh, for the mid-round aggression on the side of MIMBR. Safe to op opting to just slow peek and search. Perfect counter to that, just an op holding. Ooh, this double dueling. 
But that gives two kills over to M80. That AWP as well on Slacks was beelining to the stairs. Wanted to be there to lend a helping hand, not even required. I mean, you get gifted the openers in this one, holding that slow default across the map. Now they just group for the A hit. Swish is going to lob out some util over towards this B side of the map. And that's where MIBR were heading anyway to try and save. This save is not guaranteed. And Swisher removes exit, drop. That last man standing over towards the spawn. And if he saves, they could still buy next round. And they might buy regardless because of the money on safe and exit. But we'll see. And you can see, right, MIBR wanting to get some information. They're thinking, okay, no lurk smoke, not as much pressure on B. They're maybe working something else. Safe decides to, to peek it himself with the R, but uh, Slack's one step ahead, just exactly what they were hoping for from the side of MIBR. Punishing the info play, finding the advantage, then MIBR feels the pressure even more, goes for the dark play again, can't find the kills, and they do get the kill on drop. I love how slow Swisher played that as well. He didn't go hunting for the kill, he knew his team would fan out and drop, feeling comfortable in CT spawn, just getting boxed in slowly. So M80 back in this game very quickly, and you mentioned that money. It is on the tipping point now. If M80 loses, or sorry, if MIBR loses round and don't save any guns, they will be in a dire situation, and this T side will swell quickly for M80. And also, you know, people will say, "Oh, why didn't they use any utility for B?" Or you know, we had different ways to take it. If, if just a rifle is there holding an angle, safe wins that fight. A flash and then rifle swinging would be a completely different play. So some early pressure mid from A18. Yeah, straight back into a B hit. And only two players there to defend. Put enough pressure on camera and A main with a deep smoke. The MIBR aren't rotating anyone right now. They're stuck in their ways. Only two on this site. Drop begins to move round slowly. But M80 look like they want to line up an exec. Drops made his way over. Now he's trying to get activated over here in middle, and you've still got Rek floating towards the T stairs. So M80, if they did want to hit the go button on this B play, going to come down to three. That's an even odds fight oh. for this control switch. Uh, did he spot that cross in towards dark? Flash in, trying to tee up Lake for the opening. There's Insani dead. Drop swinging out from the back of the site. It's one kill. They know they've got Breno trapped down in the dark room. And it's a fade to black moment for Breno. As M80 come in with that bomb plant, 3v2. Safe a long way out, but given that oh kill, dear. very, very early on, kids still in play here, but they are a long way out from retaking this. Is this just due to the, the fact that they want to buy again, right? Like they don't even have a lot of money though. This gives them something to play with next round, but 2v2 with full time. I just don't think they feel it's a really winnable round. I mean, they're far away and M80 can have a good sense of, by seeing safe there, where they're going to come from. So just wanted to save for the next round and just great recovery from M18 in this half, right? It was looking grim at the beginning. The economy situation wasn't great, but they didn't panic, stay composed. You could tell the, the confidence levels of the players and, and just the team in their T side on this map. Remember, they picked to start on the T side. Yeah. Definitely an interesting veto because M80 on a six map win streak, haven't lost this since they formed this new roster and MIBR still picking, right? It's of course their most played map at the same time, but you know, you're giving M80 the map that they would have picked if you didn't. MIBR still very confident to play them on it. And I mean, yeah, that 5-1 that lead on the CT side was great. I feel like we're getting all the aggression at the right time, finding the gap, safe, a lot of impact. But we'll have to see if that can keep up now towards the end of the half as M80 are awake. And also, I mean, MIBR probably one of the reasons they save is they already have five rounds on, on CT side, right? If they can just win one or two more, that's a really, really good CT side for them. They are going to eco behind the two saved guns. C 
safe at a good spawn if you wanted to try to get a deeper line over towards A main. So you see him take the orb there. The start of this round, he's just going to be posted up on the fountain. Meanwhile, M80 once again are kind of feigning this mid control early on. They're putting some pressure on here. And that keeps two players over in mid for MIBR. One of them, that rifle on the back of exit. Yeah, these rounds can be pretty tough to call uh, when you're on the T side, right? Because you don't know who's going to play first. Where are the rifles going to be? What is the orb going to do? So you have to almost treat it as a gun round. But then again, it's not really because of the pistols in play. And they have to play in a different way than if they had an M4. So these rounds... Uh, are a lot trickier than it may look. And also the players on the rifles might be more risk prone mm. because the, 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 the buy isn't that great if they want to win the round. Just contact here into middle. They're not even going to use a flash. So they need to trade at the worst case. Sin gets it. Comes at a cost. Drop gets smoked out of middle. But this AWP is not far away over in A. It's got a worry. Oh dear, missed smoke, missed flash. Not the end of the world. It's safe, you've got to worry about. They've been volleying camera a lot. Oh, MIPR have taken nearly a full lean over towards this A site. Great gamble. The way Drop and Brenner oh, were no. just leaving. Well, safe's in a lot of trouble. He's on his own. He's got to worry about the camera split, even though it doesn't exist. He doesn't know that. He's leaning towards a save. Hoping they went B. But now hearing the molly, he's knowing he's just out of position. He can't win this round. So M80 find five. Ooh, a little jumpy on that rotate though. Maybe feeling like that was a fake after they saw M80 take mid, but nothing else happened. So I had to just watch it back on like the delay. They, they save here because drop rotates in. He only had one flash left at the end of the round, but he had two flashes as he rotates over. He does a pop flash into A main as like an info flash to see if anyone shoots or spams on the back of that flashbang going off. And when that didn't happen, M80 all just mm. held the shot. They rotate away from A and then instantly M80 exec onto it. So trying to use the flashbangs as like a tool for gathering info there and placing the stack. Oh, man. Now that they've equalized, he's yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did, you, did you catch that? What did he say? I was waffling, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't catch it either. But yeah, Harry, I mean, some, that's also sometimes just a easy call for the T side once they hear that and see that no one... Sorry, I have no yeah, idea. Yeah, yeah. If I, I, if I got shit. a heads up, I would have <laughs> shut up, I swear, <laughs> to hear it, but... Fine, we'll roll it one more time in freeze time. Oh, nice flash. That's beautiful. Drop so blind. They scale door as well. So avoiding the molly and shooting him in, in the back. And they instantly reset, leaving a lurker here. Lake 2 and 8. Quiet game, but impactful kill in the 11th round. The, these last two make all the difference. And Sani now knows that's a fake flash. You can tell. Exit to rotate. A is completely clear. I hear motor mouths right now in Portuguese as MIBR try to adjust to this aggression. M80 just walk into that push off dark. But surely MIBR know where this one's ending up. They need to adjust now. This is just like the first buy. Yeah, Insani can end the entire round right now. Oh he's got all God. three on a plate and he's playing trigger discipline. This is insane. Oh. Insani, Whoa. there's the backstab, but a turn from Whoa. Swisher at the last moment. Has that bailed M80 out? They've dealt with the big problem player. Oh, they dear. follow up onto Breno. Another man in through dark. Can Rec hold the line? Right now, Exit's got him boxed in. Safe plant. <laughs> no oh, not that safe. Oh, not that no. safe. Rec spams him. And now it's just Swisher. 2 HP. He knows where the last man is. He knows where Exit can come from. Has the info, but doesn't have the health. This has to be flawless from Swisher. Risks it on the Ooh. fight, and he makes it work. It's dirty. Swisher puts M80 up in the lead. From 5-1 down, M80 now have six to their name. Oh, the Five might be all MIBR get on this CT side. That flank, that flank is absolutely heartbreaking for Insani. He just wanted the guarantee. He wanted more than one, but he gets anything but... Oh dear, oh dear. I, they flash as well. That made Swisher turn. Yeah, I think sometimes it's just 
overthinking the situation. It was a 4v4, you have the information. If you get one kill and Leave. just fall back, yeah. um, they're in a terrible spot. What do they do from that point on? He tried to do a little bit too much in that round, unfortunately. Like, if it was a 3v4, a 3v5, I could understand yeah. you need a little bit more. But here, and you can, you could tell from it, the moment he spots them, it's going to go wrong. Someone's going to turn, <laughs> right? And yeah. Oh! It was a nice read from Slack, so drop, drop will play the left wall. He just scoped on it instantly. So even though that's a early opening move for MIBR, it's denied, and mid is taken as well. Safe is hanging around in middle. He's still having a phenomenal game, but in these past few, he's been left out of pic out of the picture, out of position. So in the last round of the half, Safe will play a factor. This is terrifying. A peak could have made all the difference there. But instead they rotate Breno in, too strong on the B side. A re-smoke at 45. This is going to be a very late safe, hit. Safe window peak is a bit of a signature move, though. Yeah. He loves oh. this walk across out in middle, and he's going to get rewarded for it. And Sani, dead in the meantime, as M80 Zorp opens up into the B side. Breno really in hot water now, calling for those rotates, but Exit is still a long ways out. Holds the line for the first, but they're moving in. That orb, can it get there in time? Wow. Safe is open. Kept this round intact for MIBR. This orb so open. Oh. Dodge and out of the picture, but fire! Finally, Safe gets to play his hand, and he'll tie up this game for MIBR.
You can't get closer than this. All tied up at the end of that first half to open up the quarterfinals. A slow start from M80. They were able to put up six rounds eventually with MIBR finally regaining some composure in that final round of the half. And it's all coming off the back of Safe's AWP right now. He is the guy for MIBR. Getting really excited there towards the end. Harry finishes the first half with 18 frags, only two deaths. And they're gonna need him to keep this up. Yeah, good luck though. T-Side, very different game now. MIBR bring a different pace straight into the connector. Lake is here and the Julies revealing their head. The flank as well. We got four guns coming in for M80 and they find all the kills required. But they do give up that B site. Got to hold on to the bomb now. Swisher, three kills off his Julies. He's got the fresh mag in. And he's looking to pick up the ace in his pistol. He's got no support, and he needed it badly. They could leave right now. That would be the right call, because Slax has come in on that flank. It was a tough round for M18 in the 2v2. There's no, there was no way for them to play together, and Slax couldn't really push. They might be waiting for him to make a play, so... How the hell has Safe done it as well? Three kills. He's 21 and 2. When was the last time you saw a scoreline like this in a playoff match? It's been yeah, a the game is so close. Good day so far for safe in the office. And their double setup as well. This should be a trade. Worst case, and he won't even clear the corner. 2-2-2. Two, two, two. He's also got two assists, if that matters. Four twos, Yanko. If only he had 2200 ADR, Hugo, that would have been absolutely incredible. True. But he's trying to get there. <laughs> not far. 150 ADR, yeah. like, not terribly far away. It's crazy scoreline right now. MIBR, they, they love, in these T-Pistols, taking that dark control early. That was what we saw them do in the Spirit game. Seen them do it since. That was something that even 3D Max in the game after versus Spirit kind of stole and bought to their game plan on this map. If it ain't broke, don't fix it for MIBR. Now with the pistol round locked in once more, rifle's been bought up here for the M80 side as they force bought into this. And once again, the big gun finds its way into Lake's hands. The bigger the gun, the more fun. So let's see if he can put something up on this B site. 2 and 11 for Lake right now, the star of M80's ESL Pro League run. And right now he is burning up. Yeah, this one's gone really pear-shaped for M80. They had a cool idea in this round with the boost on that rifle. The things got real awkward real quickly once they lost. And that was holding on to the dark position, had a smoke ready to go. Get lobbed in there. It's one thing to keep up an incredible scoreline when everything's going right, where you can't miss a beat when you're safe in this game. But Yanko, compare that to being someone on such a high rise, starting so slow. Do you have the mental to reset yourself in this series? That's a big question for me right now. Two and 12 on Lake. I think we've seen it before. Um, you know, even his first tournament at TWC, not a great series against Vitality. Granted, you also had to play Vitality. Yeah. Um, but after that, he stepped it up. I think it was the Complexity uh, game that was actually on Anubis, uh, where he was able to turn it on. And doesn't seem like a guy who struggles um, with uh, confidence, right, or that dwells too much on, on uh, the score. So. I think just a, a, a bit of an unfortunate game for him. Oh, bro, save his oh, four yeah. pistols laid out in front of him. Oh, that score line's oh, about God. to get even prettier. Three. This is not the guy you wanted to run into right go. now. Save. Let him go. Let off the leash. And it continues <laughs> this absolutely mind-blowing performance. Nearly 30 kills deep, and the guy has died twice. Dong broke the record in this tournament with 38 uh, kills in regulation. Then it was broken online uh, with a player getting 39, but safe might break it one more time and be the first guy to get a 40 bomb in regulation in MR12. That's if M8 even get enough rounds. I think this is definitely the, the record so far as 
far as like, the AD yeah. goes. Yeah. 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 Guy is it's it's like, it doesn't two. matter because it's only one, okay? Yeah, okay. Let's fucking go. Stick to the game. Well, you, they're laughing it off. It doesn't matter. Yeah, because, right? bro, even they're like, what the fuck is this? He's 28 and 2. Have you ever seen anything like this? This is like it? someone smurfing, bro. Uh, like, he's on a different level right now. Just stay on safe all round, really. Forget everyone else. As M80 said, it's just one guy. Going back through this form with a bomb. And B is weak right now. MIBR. <laughs> Drooling at the sight of an empty site, but they go back into their default. And a big gamble from M80. I mean, they have two guys mid, two A, Swisher on his own towards the B bomb site. They'll have to make an info play soon, right? They're not going to stay in this setup for too long and Sin playing the fade, just pushing straight up. Doesn't find the kill on safe. Of course he doesn't. <laughs> In plot armor right now. Safe shows bomb outside B. He's going to reset now and go back to that A side. They, it might be our left options open in this round. Even though they're double outside B, with exit tucked in in main, this could always change at the drop. The timing is a little bit off for this fake. They're still far away from A. Oh, he needs a kill to sell it. He's all on his own right now. The captain of MIBR with 20 seconds for them to pop this A site. Wreck up close, not able to hold the line. And Sani with a convincing opener. Slags on that AWP. They've already crossed on past him. So him and Singh gonna have to work in tandem to try regain some control here. It's not panned out. All safe. On the opening, Swisher and Lake Stunned. picked off in rotation. And so this one's gonna be written off for M80. Won't break any records if M80 just save. <laughs> they don't want to be remembered for that. Already got the longest game in. I mean, the utility that MIBR had for that 5v5 was an HE on Insani and two flashes on safe. And I have to believe that's intentional uh, in this round to save your HE for so long. Exactly for this scenario, if you get blocked late, I mean, that round is pretty much over unless they find uh, the kill on Wreck immediately. Oh, no, he's died. Oh. Will they get the kills? Yes, they will. No guns kept for M80. That is extremely consequential. 10 to six. They're on a half. Cannot justifying, cannot justify buying rather at this point in the game for M80. They've got to concede 11. And what a great last second fake. I've got to say that results from when drops taken over in-game leading have immediately become apparent with this team. Showing far better T sides than MIBR have in the first season this year. I mean, I hate to bring it up, but we saw the rumor about them potentially mm. signing Lukaozi for someone, right? And when, when something like that happens, you know, the players tend to send it a little bit more, right? You, you don't feel the pressure as much. You're like, well, I have nothing to lose right now. I might be playing for my spot. So you stop playing not to lose in some scenarios and start playing to win. And sometimes like just playing with a little bit more confidence, not overthinking it can make all the difference. And this is the best CS MIBR has probably paid, played with this lineup. And Safe is like the one guy who <laughs> didn't have to worry about that, but here he is really making sure he doesn't have to worry about that ever. 28-3. <laughs> He'll be bookmarking this one. 10 year contract. <laughs> He's not in Furia anymore, Harry. <laughs> 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 All right, little hold over towards a main early M80. Do they want to test the waters there? Wreck was pushed up, but he's dropped in that deep smoke. And now fades away. Couple of jiggles over here towards dark, but safe is begging them. Yeah, please give me this fight. Go on. MP9 versus Orb. This is no reason for Lake to even peak, right? Like, info is one thing, but he's not going to get any damage off at this range. Maybe you can tell, like, those jiggles are getting a little wider with every jiggle. He's really <laughs> thinking about it. What if I just look? Maybe he what slips. What if I just see, yeah. What if I just see if the Orb's there? One step too far. Surely he's not going to be there the whole round. Right? He has to move eventually. He did, but then he came right back. Lake fighting demons. It just, it looks like MIBR setting up to fake B and go A, and that's kind of the worst case for M80. 
They lose drop down in dark, but the rest of MIBR were teed up for this A play the whole time. Now you are 5v4 if you're MA. You do have the man advantage here. And you were looking to invest in the next anyway, so you can certainly justify giving this round a look in. But Breno hears the footsteps. Safe is holding the flank. Iced him out over in middle, but Breno stays alive. Oh. They finally are able to deal with him as they collapse upon that mid player. But for the rest of MIBR, they just play within the confines of the site here. They can take this to time nice and comfortably. Yeah, I love that. They know there's a heavy flank, so they get aggressive and they chase down M80 as they try and set up. Now there's no reason to go for this round, so save is called. And MIBR spread out to just, again, keep the pressure on. Make sure they can get every kill they can. They can risk their money at this point in the game to remove the AKs. And Insani, uh, he's going to get a fight here. He's going to get a chance to drop these guns. Ooh. Oh, he got the AK. 3 and 14, but he got the AK. Yeah, I don't mind that M80 sort of tried to go for it. You know, you're losing 10-6, right? You're in a 4v3. Maybe you can try and steal away around. A little bit unfortunate how things unfolded. MIB already had deep positions. This kill was uh, big from Insani. Okay, the game, the map. MIBR's pick, but M80's home map falls upon this round and this round alone. It's a great early position to take for Lake. Gives a lot of info in middle. Once they've re-cleared close mid, they can completely rotate and enforce a bomb site because Lake has that cross. Safe's Safe has, the Slax has his back. Right now, Safe's holding the window. Oh, wait. Drop Whoa. with the clear. And now Whoa. as they tried to deal with him, drop, double opener. Where'd that come from? An orb not even needed. Safe just gets to keep holding onto the window. He knows a lot about these mid-round swings from this position, so he's hoping that Sin gives up that kill. And Sani joins up with his captain down here in dark. Oh, there There's the mid-swing that Safe was waiting for. Sin. Gives that one over for free. It's just on rails right now for MIBR. Everything is going to plan. Oh, smoke break. They know that Rex here. He's so low on health. Iced out by Insani. And if there was a way to describe Brazilian Counter-Strike in one word, I think it would be punishing. Mm -hmm. Right, or if in two words, actually, would be you know, patient and punishing, right? Like, I, I think that round is exactly what you see default, slow, spread, spread out, getting some control early on, and then as the CTs try to make a move, you're, you're ready for it, you know, you're, you're almost conditioning them to go for that gap, um, and then you punish the play. Swisher has a kid, but yeah, I don't think he feels like there's any chance in hell that. He could pull off a ninja here, no smoke. Insani's waiting for it. Yeah, it's just the angle for Insani is so good right now. I think Sasha might even try, but no. And obviously Safe is having an incredible game, but on this T side, Drop has been doing great work as well. In the first gun round, he was you know, faking towards B, but then oh finds one kill on the lurk and then gets two exit kills as well, denying the save for M80. This round, obviously the double entry kill. That exit was patient and punishing Yanko. They, I think they knew he was there like by process yeah. of elimination because two players actually trapped Temple in the final 10 seconds. So they die with the bomb, but they again remove another gun. And it's not like M80 have been able to save diddly squat on both sides. It's a really suffocating style, and I think it's really strong, but it requires your individuals to be really sharp aim-wise, but also game sense-wise in terms of composure, confidence, and all of that. And finally, we see Slacks find an uh, opening kill of his own. I mean, we heard the voice comms earlier on. They said it's just one guy. But I think the problem that you were just describing, Yanko, is sure, it's safe with the insane number, almost 30 and 4. But everyone is really hitting their stride right now for MIBRs. We've gotten into this T-half. It isn't a one-man show. And so even though you found the heavy hitter right at the start of this round, it's still so far from being secure. Oh, he missed it. That does give Slacks a bit more room on this AWP over in middle. 
That's I mean, him keep holding the line. Yeah, he's just cleared it, so he knows that was a fake mid, and he's just going to leave. He's got a three-man behold, and the top player is down, so M80 have no excuse. They need this round. Oh. V-main push for Swisher, gets away with oh, a lot of damage, dear. but there's follow-up spam. Sin, it's got to be Sin. Oh. Cleanly done on Breno. Hops out, trying to play the man advantage now, trying to slow the round down just a tad. So his teammates can rotate over, lend a helping hand. Plant coming down for exit. And the wall bang will connect the second time around, softening him up somewhat. M80. This is Anubis on the line, teetering on this retake. Yeah, Got to play for a kill because Bomb's not playing for darks, and they have to go ahead of this smoke. They know M80 can just get the stick on, swing in the flash, and it's all on exit right now. They can figure it out. Process of elimination. And Bomb getting stuck. It seems like M80 will land on their feet for one more round. Maybe that is just a solution, you know, get an entry on safe, win the round. It's just one guy. Our reads are true. He's not wrong for the most part. Just can't find the kills in some of these situations. And it's important to keep the confidence up, right? Keep the faith in. It's gonna be tough, five rounds on CT side, MIBR on match point, hey, actually map point. I was gonna say, if there's one thing we've seen M80 do here at ESL Pro League, it's long out in an Anubis game. <laughs> Lake with a big early kill. It's a really good way for this to start. I think in terms of the T side, Drop's been the guy applying most of the pressure. Safe kind of exists to put some hesitancy in these pushes all across the map, but finding that, Onto the guy that's been harassing Dark, that's been constantly taking this part of the map away from you, and forcing Drop to have to take the reins from beyond the grave. It's a nice opener for M80 here. Good nade damage early on as well. There was the nade at stairs, bringing safe down a half. Now a nade in Ooh. mid, but Insani is going to be the one on that scoreboard next. Sin caught out with nades a couple of times in this CT side already. It's not going ideal for M80 as now they're getting pinched in this B site. Insani on a mid lurk. So M80 go for info, they go for control, they double push A, they double push B, meeting in the water. This finds nothing for them though, and now the execute goes out on that B bomb site. But this is all a bit of a time buyer right now. Insani's getting space. Is he going to activate? He's going to hear the fast flank. He's calling it. You can see he's calling it. They know they're coming in dark, so they're going to leave. 20 seconds. This is a crazy call. I don't think this can work. They're going to have to just run it past Wreck in oh, middle, no. but they managed to get by. They don't 15 know about seconds. Mad dash as they try to get that bomb in towards A. Insani dead oh. back at main, and so MIBR, while well, one of them plants, the other's got to protect. Breno has got to watch over exit here. Deals with the first man in. M80, they're now the ones under the pressure. They're now the ones under the thumb of this clock. Exit dead to the camera, rotate in. And so Breno, one on three. Not going to be easy for him. They've got him trapped over here in the heavens. And he's got so many angles to bear in mind, so many fights to take. And as he swings on out, the punish is in. Swisher, flick it up from the bomb, puts a stop to it. And it's another round secured for M80. Slowly but surely trying to grind their way into overtime. They've still got a ways to go. But they've started winning. Some consecutive rounds now. Trying to find that second wind late in the game here. What an unreal rotate to try and call at 20 seconds. There were still so many gaps on the map. There was still that stairs push as well as the con flank. It might be I got more than they bargained for. Yeah, it almost worked. If Insani could find one kill, they're yeah. holding that flank. They might have been able to clutch the post plant. Still enough money to buy for, for MIBR. Knack taking a timeout, you know, a couple of rounds where they lose the opening kill. So I think maybe he would like his team to slow it down a little bit, make sure to 
prevent any yeah aggressive plays like this info plays to punish them just take control slowly jump spot b and so no one so slacks rotates his orb sin does hold on to middle but getting more than one here when they're right on the other side of the door it's going to be a tough ask for the captain sin trying to hold on or goes in dry that's ugly i think they flash but it did absolutely nothing drop trades it M80, maintain the advantage for now, but there's a big gap on a wreck. A uh, very important kill. If he goes down there, that's the A split open for the taking. MIBR will still end A, but with that smoke fading soon, they'll have enough time to re-clear middle, and M80 should be able to reinforce wreck, who right now just leans back, plays retake on A. Nothing wrong with that. M80 should announce this eventually. Even if it is via mode of bomb plant. And Wreck doesn't overplay it. Rotate over is still fairly slow to start taking shape here for M80. So that is going to give up a bomb plant in the 2v4. Brenner makes his way over towards heaven. There is everyone for M80 in this position. And he's not able to make that first incision. So suddenly things get real tricky for exit over here in main. Flash out, but they're all looking to swing him. They want to try and fight him here. They're already on that defuse and Lake makes quick work of that last man. Three in a row now for M80. They need three more. If they want to force this one into OT. They finally break broken through one of the first hurdles here. It's no longer a perfect buy for MIBR. There are some concessions that have to be made in this one. Yeah, it's starting to look, I mean, even this a little bit forced from the side of MIBR, you know, the way they were taking mid didn't seem too... There wasn't too much cohesion there. I think they have to go for mid again because anything else is a little bit too predictable for, for M80 in terms of how they open up the round and how they set up. Wreck and delivered the opener. Say feeling that confidence. But I think forced is a really good word, Yanko, mm. because even that sort of play in the past, it felt like Safe was on rails to be in the right position, whereas now he's like trying to force these early oh, no. engagements to come through. He saw him. He's called it. They know Slax is in this position. Swisher, be aggression. Lake there to help him out. Drop might get caught here. Not something he's had to worry about in this game yet. And Sin destroys the A play. Slacks on the AWP over in middle. Spots that last man. And so MIBR. Surely no hope for Insani here. Coach Anko, what do you do? I think they need to take a timeout after this sort of decide because it's going to be a half buy after this. Um, if they have a good round for that sort of a buy to just go for it. You know, sometimes it's maybe if you trust in your B executes with the pistol, just go for it. You know, sometimes it can just work. But more importantly, think about what you're going to do in the gun round. Um, that's the more important one. For me personally, I would expect them to do something aggressive in the final round because they haven't really done it. The other side of things, they've been winning these gun rounds without having to do that. So it just depends what your philosophy is. Do you feel like they'll be able to make the adjustment or not? Will be pop, and it's going to be a long rotate here for oh M80. God. Oh dear. This could get out of control. Swisher falls is. immediately. Lake desperate to hold the line, but it's just one from him. Sid so makes this play out through Temple. Leaves it up to chance on the spam. He won't be able to play through that Temple smoke. Doesn't want to go down to the pistols. Ooh. Spam damage onto Insani connects, but it's not the killing blow. Someone needs to tip the scales back in M80's favor and Wreck throws himself into the fight. There is a big flank happening right now from Exit, but he's going to come back. He can't commit to that. His teammates have been forced out of the bomb site. Okay. Drop, spams one back. It all comes down to this. M80 trying to find a way back into this B site, done. but MIBR it's running done. them down with pistols and Drop stands tall to close. A 13-10 victory clawed back in the dying lights of that map there on a low buy B rush as Drop and the boys save themselves from disaster and pick up Anubis.
semi-finals between MIBR and M80. Teamwork makes the dream work. That's going to be the motto of this story. Smoke's going out into A. That's a spawn smoke and a donut smoke to lock out all the CT players. But getting in front of it, Insani. A little insane in that play. Yeah, trying and hoping just to go one for one, but ends up feeding them on that opener. And so M80, pretty comfortable. 5v4 here. Set up over towards Temple. They want to try and deal with this first push in from MIBR and lock down this part of the map. But it's not gone well. Safe. Double on the duallys. Looking for a little bit more. Safe. Swats back at M80. And there's the support from Exit. It's just Sin left up in this one. Ooh. Not impossible, but he's going to get past the duallys and he can't manage it. It's another strong start from safe and a pistol round found for the MIBR squad. It's always scary when you're with the one that doesn't have Kevlar. You're against duallys. They got 30 bullets chipping away at your body and you need to land a headshot almost the first bullet. But I thought that temple setup was going to be good for the side of M80 there. That one flash from drop opened that up. Another Galil by this time. They have four Galils on the second round, you know? Anubis, they only had three, as I've been told during a little Are You Paying Attention quiz. So. Had an AK. Had an AK. Unlucky. Oh, that's. Yeah. Get what you bargained for that. Through the smoke. A little ambitious, maybe, from Swisher. The door smoke up. You might have to respect that. There's so much time in the round. You have a bunch of rifles that you could work with as well. No real reason to force a fight there. But showing that B aggression means that middle might be open for business. And M80 is still in that ground, making their way over to the boost boxes and jumping up to clear B from Cat. Oh, and into safe they go as well. He gets further damage. That's got to force a reload. No one's actually covering, but Rek won't run him down. Again, another player through the smoke. Same results, same round. MIPR take it clean. No real opening into the round there. Falling flat from M80. That's not really a good start that they want to have. Kind of reminded me of that last game as well because now they're just going to have to run around with Glocks, and that's not going to be fun at all. Lake getting that dig up as well. Not a great first map. Starting off here, zero and two as well. Feeling like maybe something can get changed up here. His luck will shift with this dig. Oh, nearly awkward there. Swisher, are they ready for it? Tech 9 finds a dink, but not the killing blow. And so a two-man lane take pulls up for MIBR. They've shut down this side of the map. They haven't had to use a lot of resources doing it, but they're still dedicated towards that B area. And so for now, Exit is in this alone, but you can see Safe is very, very quickly trying to plug that hole with the rotate over through middle. And so M80's window closes, even though that smoke has faded so they can walk out main. They're going into a crossfire here. MP9 faces first, but it's all the TX it up on this M4. Ooh. He was meant to kind of slow down a bit there, but goes swinging out, gives exit. Oh, sorry, gives Slacks the chance to get involved on that Deagle. Nice flash. Right over the donut and done deal. Dead on delivery. It's MIBR saving three rifles and going 3 0 up into M80's first proper buy round. I just don't think they can stomach another 0 05 star. Yeah. Especially considering they woke up towards the end of Anubis. So it can't five, be in the hole. It was 3 1. Yeah. yeah. 1 oh, 5. 5 1. one, five, one, five, one. Five. I, I know what you're yeah, saying. Yeah. Yeah. What's the move for M80, Josh? Apparently, fast out middle, Lake running down and taking Whoa. a donut here, and they get the kill. That's, that's a good opening. That's more like Lake. You didn't see much of that in the last map. Starting on the T side as well was neutered in middle. Renault with a big flank through the T smoke as well on Cave, and he's going to get away with it. They could line up here. Exit repositions. 
Oh, that's two. So forced from M80. Yeah, a lot of smoke pushing so far in these four rounds of play. That grenade opens up options. If they take Donut back and they realize it's free, they can get a quick plant, but the bomb's the one clearing. Switcher going again into a smoke. Disadvantage. I don't, I don't see this one working. Oh! Nearly makes it work, but Nearly's not going to cut it here. Leave Slacks up in this Peace. alone. Rotate all the way around towards the B side. He's got a Molotov, so he can try stop that rotate by mollying the CT angle from short. That's at least going to lock him in with a plant here. Oh, it's kind of a yeah. They could molly. push around. Yeah. You've got to bounce off the top of that to get it really deep. Instead, they skirt around the edge. Trump going to wait for his open counterpart. We've got a lot of nades, but keep the guns out right now. They don't know where he's gotten off to. Front square. Slacks trying to play his timing, trying to find the gap here on a wide plant. Looks for the fight. He catches and with nades out. It's safe on a rifle now. 1v1. Red well. Slacks pieces it together and puts M80 on the board. 3-1, just like last game. I really like how Slacks decided to play that round. The way that he planted at the top of the key there enabled him to play it from so many different positions, such as cave or falling back to ramp, but he stays close to the square, and that enables him to be able to catch that first player with a smoke out, trying to lock down one of those angles, and that opens up the rest of the 1v1 to close out. What a dangerous position to throw your smoke from as well, considering they know he's still close. He can't be far away. Just came off the bomb. So M80 given a chance now to get in this game very early and break the money of MIVR. Oh, I like that flash. Double flash mid. Oh. Ooh. Thought I liked that flash. Apparently it does nothing. A is open for business now though and a deep donut smoke potentially coming in. Nope, a shallow one. It's gonna limit the options oh. that MED has, but it doesn't matter. The pre-take coming Whoa. in. MIVR just running in before the bomb even gets fully blended at that point. And they try reset, Ooh. they deny Sin. Both headshots in middle. I like that term, pre-take. I'll be stealing that. Slacks over here watching on, and it's just going to be the save for MIBR. Kind of awkward there. Once Sin gets away with the double coming out late through mid, it completely ends the hope of retaking the round. And so MIBR get out with these guns intact. What do you think about that reset, going from double donut to red? I think when you're retaking this A site, you need to come in from as many angles as possible. And with the smokes that M80 deployed, they smoked off donut, they smoked off spawn. You would expect them to take temple like they did on pistol round. So maybe they wanted to reinforce that area to help retake instead of going the donut where they could get cr I don't know. I, I like the donut. I like having multiple options, but who knows? The real question is, what do I feel about that guy going into the site and trying to fight them when his teammates are locked out donut in like a 1vx? Four, Nothing one, good. Four people on the site. I guess Insani's calling and rushing the plant, right? He just gets cancelled because he swung from site. At that point, MIBR are feeling pretty committed. Yeah, but again, you have to look at the whole economic situation of it. If this play does not work out and my team loses the round because of it, and now we have to do two M4s that were, I guess, saved and then yeah. three USPs, does that... It, does this play right now make sense for the bigger picture? High risk. Today, no reward. M80 get to build up early T rounds on their map pick. Stabilization from M80. Light pressure towards B. It's going to be constant pressure as well as that bomb gets rotated back around towards that A site. This is all... Just pressure to cause a reaction, a rotation, to soften up that A site as they layer in the second stage of nades here. They've done this in, on Anubis and sent Swisher in, but the boost on Long catches him off guard. Still, MIBR doesn't know about this. They don't know that M80 is grouped right now, trying to walk out that A site, and it's left undefended. Three USPs to defend, and potentially one of those USPs can pick up this, US, uh, this AK that's been dropped now. Just had a bit of re-aggro over towards B. They cleared out the top ramp push. And they've read that this is the A play. They're going to get around relatively good timing, but that smoke over at the spawn might cause you some issues. You could look to send in the pistols. Have them jump, throw the aim off. Then those rifles move in to try and supplement this retake. 
but it's not gone well. Drop and save both dead as that CT push gets lit up. Leaving it all on exit. Floating around over in Temple. M80 successfully tie this game up. They're applying some early pressure here as that rebuy is about to come back through for MIBR. Right now, M80 have them right where they want them. Oh, he's going to tap it and try and get them to run in. No, nope, he's just going to chase them. He'll die. They'll survive. I would have at least liked him to run to the bomb and tap it. I feel like uh, it's, 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 too it's too late either way. It's too late either way, but... All right, M80 getting it done. Now we've seen a couple of things that have worked for M80 so far. The fast middle, getting Lake out there. He doesn't have the spawn to do it this round, really, but it, maybe he tries to go for it anyways. We've seen them regroup back to A and doing these A hits with all this mid pressure. Expecting to see that come out again sometime this game here. Looks like for now, though, they're happy to smoke off Red Room, smoke off that Catwalk Cheetah area. Control this B main area. Sonny down mid again, into the smoke he goes. And A main taken from safe as well. It's a good opening, and then Sonny might push Elbow off this as well. A re-smoke comes in, though. He's just going to sit in the smoke and play off the sound cues for now. In these situations... Got spotted. He's going to try to get out, though. M80 has a few nades. They can pull off a full B exec if they need to, if they want to here. They don't have an op to post up on that big box, but a molly at the pillar here can flush these guys out, enable this cave exit to work. Oh, that's one way to do it. It's a lovely set of openings from Swisher. So now you got that util. They molly out the cubby. They've smoked off long and short. There's nowhere even left to check here for M80. They've just got to be worried about those spams. And once they've successfully dodged that from exit, this one is over. MIBR, back to the drawing board. Such a misplay by MIBR in this round. They have all of Elbow. They have Insaney down there. Sure, the smoke's going to expire soon, and he's going to have to move, decide which way he wants to push. But they got that kill on A. They knew it was just a lurker. He's backed off. They have one A, one down mid. Why do these guys have to fight cave like that to the deaths? Try to force that trade kill. They already have the man advantage. That info is good enough. They could back up. They could play that retake. They'll have a fast flank coming in. They could even flank all the way through T-spawn and get behind B doors. But instead, they force the issue. They lose both players, and that B site is opened up for the taking. And Amidi take the lead for the first time in the series. Yeah, it's a very different game now to Anubis. M80 warmed up, MIBR still playing off the fumes of the last map, and it's doing them no favors. Some aggressive moves getting punished in the CT side so far. I mean, I know we were all blown away by the safe performance in that last map, but the fact that he plays as well as he does and they still barely win the map, almost launched into OT. I mean, you know, if he's not doing that again, what does that mean for MIBR? Ooh, ominous music. It's very ominous. Eerie. But I, I mean, I agree. Like, he was... Uh, you look at the stats from the previous game. He was plus 22. The rest of his, of his team was anywhere between plus 4 and minus 2 on the scoreboard. It was a one-man show. The game scoreline came down to those 13... Uh, to 13 to 10. And a lot of the clutches went in the way of M80 there. Uh, we saw Swisher pick up a couple. Uh, like... We saw Slacks pick up one uh, in this game as well. I feel like when it comes down to those clutch situations, M80 does come out on top. It, it is a one-man show if Safe's able to get those kills, but they have to be kills on uh, the earlier parts of the round, not towards the later parts of the round. Th to the, towards those ends, he's saving. Oh, wow, the Three double, nades. the triple nade. They get blown away, and Lake can't escape through the smoke either. Off the run boost, Insani in heaven. Considering MIBR really didn't bring a lot into this round, that is the best possible opening they could have hoped for. Whoa. Spam damage is good. Knocks oh. drop out, but there's more layers to this B defense. Breno kind of got stuck between both options there, but is able to get out and dodge death from the ramp room instead. It's all eyes on Sin. They flash that peak from long. He's able to get the reload off. Sin might be cooking something here. One on four as this begins, but now he's got room to play with over a B. 
Pull all your gun out, Exit. This is a little scary here. Sin with a 1v1 to take spawn and go to that A site. But will he be ready for the close position? He was. But Exit holds strong. And MIBR with a low econ round. That's a great call from MIBR there. Those triple nades. They knew that M80 has won a couple of their rounds. Getting out middle quick. Leak running down that donut player. Hey, how do we adjust to this? How can we shut this down? Triple nades and it works flawlessly. It slacks out there. He's the first to fall. And Lake also down really low. He goes down to just an M4 spray through the smoke as he's trying to recede. And a great round to be picked up from him by BR there. Hitting the run boost as well with the nades. Oh. It might be our responding, yeah. Oh. That's a brutal nade in middle. Nade kill to open up this and last round. Oh! Exit forced out. I mean, he didn't have to move. He had a smoke on his spot, I think, from his teammate. And Sani gets caught on the lip of the wall. It's a messy round in middle for MIBR. Despite the five on four, it's very quickly turned around. It's funny hearing Yanko talk earlier about what is the Brazilian playstyle. It's, it's patient and it's punishing. And in these situations, they're the ones that aren't patient and they're the ones that are getting punished for it. M80 in their 4 on 2. We've seen them do plays like this where they'll send Swisher in somewhere, try to get a scout, figure out where the players are. If there's a CT towards uh, whatever X site, then they know the other site has at most one player. They might use that and just overwhelm that position. But right now, difficulty to connect that player at middle, Rec. Gets a little bit dangerous, but he's going for that little bit of a scout mission. He's going to be sent to his death. Sent to the Wolves. Find out where those CT players are. By deduction, I'll know where they aren't. Drop over here. Gonna have to be a one-man army for MIBR. They swing him, triple swung up through the ramp and sight. And Safer just peeled off of middle right as Rec moved into the red room. So that all best option for him is just gonna be to back out and save. Won't be allowed. Rec does reroute though. Goes donut, so there's a small window of opportunity that Safe could have crossed. Now he's locked in and they're running his way. Leaving one on the bomb with nine health. They really want to get this orb out. I think you might have it. Looks like his form fell off a cliff almost from, you know, you're looking at 22 and 2. Now he's at 6 and 6. Washed. <laughs> Washed, yeah. <laughs> Overnight. Oh, it's kind of hard to keep it going. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, did, buddy. Yeah. yeah, you did. Blown to bits. But it's, it's back and forth constantly. Is anyone's game right now? There's good adjustments in the micro level between both teams from the round to round, but it feels like they can't keep a hold of any of the control that they're getting, a hold of the entire game on a macro scale. Are we going for a B pop here? Got a long smoke set up. What's well, just a flash for lane? Seems like just a default for now. I, I look at those two players, one towards A, one towards Elbow. It looks like they want to take middle as soon as that smoke expires. Now with that B control underway as well, they can assist in this mid control. Once they flush out this cheetah angle, there's nobody there to defend against it. And now M80 has basically the entire map. They can do whatever they want. Fakes, full execs, it doesn't matter. The world is their oyster. And don't we love oysters? Especially you uh, Londoners. Is that a thing? You even have a card. The Oyster card. Uh, yeah, yeah, we do, do. Yeah, you do. Gets you free travel and free seafood. <laughs> it's quite a combo. Because M80 had the whole map, looks like they want to go towards A. That's where the bomb is. A little bit of a B fake first, but man. Fell for it. And it, they're re-clearing mid to flank heaven. 
Oh, oh dear, that's awkward. But the push is nice. Drop catches him with nades out. Either way, it's an A hit, and, and MIBR are about to find out. Yeah, both the lurkers get dropped out of the round, though. This is anything but plain sailing for M80. They've got to try and take some real estate, nice. and it's as they move in the donut that exit destroys them. Sin left up in this one alone, but nothing to do here. MIBR clamp down on that A play. They're coming through main, Dona, and CT. And that's too much for one man to worry about. So this one's competitive right away. Can I just point out that they not only missed that smoke at B, mm. but it seems like they also missed their spawn smoke on A. It landed like by default spot, unless they intended it to land towards that default box. Is it the one that goes behind default? I yeah. think a lot of teams have been throwing that this event. Okay. It's on okay. purpose. It's to stop. It not default. only stops CT, but it stops that headshot angle that headshot on default. Angle. Okay, okay. So you can still get swung. That is the danger, but it just removes a position so you okay, don't have okay. to molly smoke. That's better then. Yeah. Because when we I'm were doing our little dry run thing against uh, yeah. against the other two earlier, and there some were some smokes. miss nades. The thing is, I missed some smokes. When I was going through the demos, I was seeing that there were a lot of miss nades from the side of M80. Okay. And, you know, in part of this whole dry run experiment, I figured, why not give an accurate representation of a pro player missing nades? We've been seeing it all tournament long. Yeah. You know, people Happens. have been missing that jump throw bind. People just completely aiming at the wrong spot or standing in the wrong spot as well. Can't really uh, change that. If only there was like a little iPad that you could pull out and just play smokes on the map. They can go wherever you want. Hard mode here for M80 on the T side. Trying to navigate through the fire and brimstone that is yeah. this matchup. <laughs> Flash gets Lake out into middle. Let's see if he can find more results here. He's had a couple of openers, but he's also been at the brunt of MIBR's 5v4s. The AWP in middle Ooh. is a scary piece. They to, yeah, they're aggroing out through Donut. Oh, they're gonna swing that's perfect. This. Flash landed Whoa. for Dodge. Lake was the one guy unblinded. Now they've got another oh. trapped in a box and Sin teed up from the Flashes. They make life real easy. Four and Sunny down there in mid drops held on towards the B site and it's only Slacks left standing. This round feels like it barely even began for M80. What a brutal reclear in middle, right? And Sunny is red hot right now. Just goes in, cleans up two kills with some great supportive flashes. Orb not even needed in the red room. So safe may have calmed down a little from Anubis, but. Everyone's still around him, as they were back on that map. Does seem that MIBR seemed a little reborn in this round. Send them a, a curveball down middle. And once all the M80 players were flashed up, those were some easy pickings. Russian you can. started with it. <laughs> what? Oh, you guys didn't get... So okay. I'm, I'm, I'm laughing why they just pulled Rush up. And that's okay, sorry. Like, I was uh, annoying the TD a little bit. Okay. Okay, okay thanks, So he was Rush. doing that as revenge. So just ignore uh, that. Okay. Sorry, Steve. I'm sure you made some great puns. Here's a quick question. Yeah. Mm. This might sound dumb, considering Go. I'm here. Hit it. At what instances does the everyone here rush and not just us? Uh, if we hear Rush, the stream hears Rush. Hit rush. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, he can hears. talk to us, but I think he always does it open mic. Okay, okay. You guys fucking You oh, guys. Okay. You guys fucking suck. Oh. Horrible is what Drop just said. I like that he put it in English because a lot of the time, you know, the teams who don't speak mm, English, true. like as a calling language, will just like I saw in Sani shout some stuff in Portuguese. No one knows what you're saying, bruv. But Drop I'm makes it personal. I'm pretty sure I heard now Vita Zen last. Last game when they won a clutch against Slacks. Nice, that's a good Alfie to Zen. That's a good line. We had um in the Spirit game, M uh, Imperial Spirit yesterday. Chopper team killed Donk, and someone shouted Spaceba. I remember that one. Little B rush at the end of the half here for M80, and it's going about as well as some of these fast rounds have. There's a Tech 9 tap denied on the trade, and this one's done. M80 with a statement right now. Sorry, MIBR with a statement to close the half as they sit only a few rounds away from those semi finals.
Might not be carried on the wings of their orping prowess right now, but MIBR still showing to be a safe pair of hands in this quarterfinal. M80 left trailing behind with just five rounds in that first half of play. They all come through in the midpoint of the matchup for MIBR is once they started to get a leash on this mid control, once they stopped M80 taking all that room, the things got a lot more dominant. They move into this second half now with the advantage and MIBR, they've had a good track record in these pistol rounds. If they can find this, they're going to be charging towards oh. those semis. Aggression from Wreck, and that is how you want to open this if you're M80. Two quick kills, turns the tide of the pistol early in the CT's favor. That changes everything. Got a reset, they've at least got their nades. That's about it. These boys have been getting boisterous in this matchup. Some smack talk from either side across the stage. M80 finally meeting their match here at ESL Pro League. MIPR, P lap middle. P250 looking for a kill. And it will be this B execute late in the round. But M80 are not worried just yet. They rotate players over there, looking to play retake. And they have no kit, but so many nades to block positions in the post plant. It's just important you don't get picked here and give away a 3v3. And a pistol round pickup here for M80 would be great. They lost both in the previous map. They still brought it all the way to a 13-10. So a pistol round here might indicate a game of that win. Oh, it's a good util combo. Breno is really messed up. Him and Exit are going to hide back here in cave, but that smoke's come in. Spamming a prey. Need this. Tap on the bomb that already putting a lot of pressure. Oh. On MIBR here, and that turnaround dealing with Breno, they learn about Exit. Safe's gonna have to be the guy to Wait. save this. Gets them off the bomb! This is oh. down to the wire, but Exit is spammed! And so M80, it might be a little closer than they were hoping for, but they still get that pistol round what wrangled a, back in. What a huge 4K from Rec, and I love how he slows on Heaven there, because Safe needs that kill more than Rec does. He's got four teammates in the bomb site in a, essentially a 4v2 right there, and so Rec just holding the line for a few more seconds slows down the round. Safe almost makes it happen, but four kills from Rec on a pistol, a player we haven't talked about a lot so far in the ESL Pro League, shows up. In a big way, and M80 know what that pistol means. They're first in the series. Something to keep in mind as well. It's going to be a little bit of a poppy here, actually. Rec stalls him out with a molly. Oh, that's not ideal. Oh, Slacks. Blake here to lend a helping hand, but the Molly pushes them away, gives room to MIBR. They take this side control now. Flashes over towards Donut. They are just cycling them to get this bomb planted. Drop might fall. But he does the ultimate push for his team and getting that bomb down. Puts the pressure on M80. Exit is trying to alleviate some of the pressure now with Insani hitting shots like that. And now this flank coming in over towards the spawn. Swish is knocked out. M80, they've got to run away. And not even that is safe. Not even that is guaranteed. Breno hunting. Slacks a dead man. Four alive. Four spy. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen more personality from Drop in the last hour or two than I have in all of his career on Furia. Unbelievable energy. Good job, M80, says the newfound captain of MIBR as they just explode into that A site and hit some beautiful shots. Forced by coming out from the side of M80. It's, it's almost like the worst round he could lose. Might be the worst round to lose in the game. CT side, you win pistol, you full buy, you lose round two. Not only that, you let them pick up your M4s. Oof. This is just a buy out of necessity. They've got to stall with the smokes, but they've also got to hold them long enough that they can play that timer. It's a fine line, a thin line to walk for M80. 
And even with the smoke, you can't get shot through it because that just opens a hole. Forces a third rotation to this B bomb site. M I B R do have near everyone here. And Rex Smoke is out of commission for now. He's just playing his spot. Yeah, but he's got a banana on his 5-7. So you're happy to see him, or...? I think one kind of cool thing to talk about, the difference between Lake and Rex. Is this pop going to happen, actually? <laughs> it seems like it might. Will the smoke stop it? They do. Well, he just dropped it, right? Look at Rex's position. He should drop it anyways. Block this out. It gets broken. But there's only one real opening right now. Ooh, and they get the kill. That's all that mattered. Double up from Lake on the 5-7. And Rex coming in late. He still has that smoke left over. Gonna get him open passage into cave. But they're aware of this. They're aware of this timing. And there's re-smokes on MIBR. So Rex might have used his to create this opportunity. Shooting, he runs down Breno, one Ready? more man in at ramp, and he heard safe run away. He knows that one player's over at CT. He's got the other guy trapped right here, but he can't pick it up. Yeah, fair play to M80, because I like how they don't actually give a pick away. Like, if a player pe a peeks from default when that nade comes in, that's the way you completely throw the sight hold, right? You need to force MOBR to run through the smoke, and they still do, and they get it. They get the close player entried, but it and makes it a little bit interesting. Rec Swisher. Sorry, not Swisher. I mean, they've been teammates for years. Lake. Everyone's been talking about Lake because he's the new guy on the on the squad and everyone's are talking about how, oh, he's so young, he's so young. He's 19 years old, which is still relatively pretty young in the grand scheme of things. Can, you know, 34-year-old saying this. But Rec, he was, when he started playing with Swisher, he was like 16 years old. He was the, I guess, the original Lake a few years back. And now overshadowed a little bit this tournament. Lake's been having a great one so far. As we see on that pistol round, he's got some, you know, chops to himself. Yeah, but the question is, is time running out for M80, young or not? The tournament lifeline is slipping away and looking for a 2-0. and It's MIBR setting up for a semi. Yeah, this is pretty brutal. This is a brutal spot for M80 to be in. Uh, they kind of had the golden opportunity coming into the second half, but the moment they, they lost that, that first anti-eco, things really took a turn for the worst. And now they're on the back foot. Even this boost. buy doesn't have everything you would love. And so MIBR tried to use that against M80. Up tempo, B rush round, into Slacks, into Lake. Contest made, but Slacks is not aware. They're already up through the short side. They've snuck past these cave players. And it's Sani slices the defense in two. It gets weird all of a sudden and playing Rec. a little aggressive. Giving Might that get away. punished. Oh dear. Exit even on the spam. More follow-up damage. And Insani is still causing absolute carnage on this push. Lake trying to play ahead of this. This has to be the moment oh. for Lake. And he can't get a handle on Insani. MIBR break apart that fall by round for M80. And this might be all said and done. After a crazy run through the group stage from M80, taking some very legit wins on their way. Complexity, Fnatic, Imperial, all feeling the wrath of M80 for them to get into this quarterfinal. And that's after last season with Malbs in this roster still falling to G2, just shy of playoffs. This felt like it was going to be the season for M80. But that might not be the case. MIBR. They came into this with a clear game plan, yeah. some big performances. And even though the first map was the safe show, this second one has been a real team effort across the board. I mean, what a brutal 2v4, and the confidence doesn't stop. MIBL go right back into B with a vengeance, trying to play contact. They do lose a player early. I'm not worried yet, neither should you be, because oh. Insani oh. is insane. Two taps. And dances with death here in Donut. Moving in to finish off this series to send M80 home, and we may be only moments away from that. An admirable run indeed. But finally, with a map lost in the ESL Pro League, and the series may follow in suit. Shadow Seen, Exit's got another. And Swisher, not far from getting smoked.
One by one, M80 is dropping out here. MIBR, one kill away, or a bomb explosion away from taking it to series point, booking their way through. The quarterfinal matchup here, M80. I mean, they surpassed all expectations, making it this far in the fashion they did. They also broke records along the way. 100 rounds against Fnatic. Stealing away that high seed, coming here. They had a week off to prepare for this game, to study, to boot camp, to practice, to create that perfect game plan, to be in prime form. To learn those lineups and never miss them <laughs> when you get to a, the real deal. But what happened today? I mean, safe happened, right? At least on Anubis. 22 and two. Ends 30 and 8. And MIBR, they've won three pistols in this series. The one pistol they lose, they immediately win the force by an M80 roll over on the CT side. Six rounds straight, a requirement, or MIBR go through to the semifinals. Yeah, they're letting them know. MYBR take no prisoners here on Ancient. This is it. The last end for M80. Number one. Instantly into A main. Oh. And a good trade, a good opening yeah. here. They get the info, they have a four and three, and Lake on the back lines Nothing as well. To lose. Closing it down. 4v2. We've seen them lose this before, but this time, it's got to be different. This time, they've got the bomb, they've got it under their control. I'm still scared though, and Sunny's got this big flank right now, and he should have a free kill from it as well. He's going to hit the steps. Sin sneaks in, but Sin doesn't know, and Sunny does. This is one way info. This is a free kill, but he whiffs it completely. Lack of patience. If he just stood still, it's stuck behind the wall. And M80 put up one more round at the bare minimum. Five more chances here for MIBR to close it out in regulation. And M80 need to play perfect. I mean, you know, if Anubis taught us anything, it's the M80 have what it takes to start these sort of comebacks, but you also see that the worry of it, of playing up against 12, it takes one small misplay, one... It's a small moment of hesitancy, one big moment from MIBR, suddenly it's all over. This has to be flawless from here on out for M80. MIBR, meanwhile, gonna take a while before they're, they're truly out of money, before they're truly put through their limits here on this T side. So for now, M80 are very much swallowed up by the pressure of this. At the same time, it also gives you a bit of freedom, right? We saw Lake walk through the elbow smoke and flank A main in a man advantage. Like, M80 have nothing to lose in making plays right now, so leave with nothing unsaid. You've got to still toe that line. When Lake was up on that catwalk, he didn't see anything towards B. They got nervous, out of nades, they had to give up middle, they had to give up that B line. And now a high-low setup in cave, waiting, hoping that MIBR come into their setup. A wrong guess can unwind everything, but Slacks, he has that op, he has that angle into A main. They're gonna steal this. They, they need to repush. They're gonna get this information. They need to know where this hit is coming from MIBR, and they need to be ready for it. The issue is, even if Slacks frees up to rotate, if he makes a lot of noise, and Sonic could get off on a red lurk right now, it doesn't seem like they're going to. MIBR going for a flat execute, and Sonic just waits in the middle, and Lake on the boost grabs a one shot onto drop. MIBR, 30 seconds, and they are blocked. They need Insani now more than ever. It looks like they're going to change their mind on this, but Red could uproot everything right now with Insani having all this control over the Red Room. Oh, they try oh to no. go back, but that, that swing from Red has given up the pass. Oh, Slax Slacks has a molly. Starting to rotate in. This is it. He oh, needs to get this molly down. Slacks he needs a kill. Has to land these. Insani manipulates the rotate. Slacks. This fight decides everything. Time's running low. Can he waste the clock down? Oh, yes, yeah. he can. Slacks keeps the dream alive. Unbelievable. After Insani gets two kills, it wasn't a 2v4 like last time. He absolutely shuts him down in red room, traded out by Lake who gets two, and Slax hits all the orb shots he needs to keep this map going. You see everything that M80 need. The, the perfect timing, the rotations, a spam kill from Lake from B onto the ramp. Slax 
coming out with three huge kills, including one close no-scope. You need all that just to get one round on the board. You need four more of those just to take it to overtime here for your tournament life. This is what we were talking about last round with the money for MIBR. Sure, this Ooh. buy is lacking, oh, but there's still some problem areas. These AKs thrust into the hands of Breno and Insani fall first, though. And so suddenly it's a recovery mission for MIBR. Going to try to get their hands back on these. Drop's been able to secure his safe. Swinging out wide in middle. Looking for this other AK. So they've rearmed themselves here. And AE are content with the four on three right now. They fan out into a very passive setup all across the map. Full retake on B. They're going to reclaim middle together. Hey, MMBR won a two versus four with two AKs. Now they have a Glock in hand, able to do a drive by, potentially launch men for information. Are they just going to ask safe to win the round on his own right now? The others are trapped B side. Exit goes through the Molotov. He's got the only armored AK. He needs to make it work. And so a trade here is a requirement for the round win. Safe can save him. Safe can save him. Oh. There's the swing out from Elbow. Swish is not ready for it. That bomb. Down on the elbow side, is it going to try climb up? If it does, Slax's AWP is here. And once again, would be required to save the day. Sin low. They made it past the AWP. Sin Boy, low on health. Wait. Safe getting tricky with it. Oh, Are they going to send Exit it. in alone? Yeah. He's in. He's fully committing as well. He's trying to fight for this one. Even one kill would poise his teammate to kick M80 out of the Pro League. 1v2 now for Slacks. Just trying to clear up the lurker. He does. When will the penny drop? When will the penny drop? There it is. Rushing a rotate. No armor for safe. But he doesn't know that. He's going to have to play AWP against the AWP King of All MIBR. Off. Safe now knows this AWP has rotated in through the spawn side. And so he's got time to back out here. Play around that plant. Play around the bomb. Do you see him? Slax has got a strike, and it's got a hit from the first shot that goes off here for that AWP. Tick-tock, tick-tock. Slax saved M80 once, but now they're asking him to do it again. And is that one time too many? Safe has locked this one into time. Played to perfection. MIBR into <laughs> the semifinals, and Slax can't do a thing. What a run for this MIBR squad. A convincing victory over M80. We saw Drop take over the IGL mantle back at the Cologne play-in where they fell out of contention for Cologne. But what a quick turnaround he has pulled at getting situated in the IGL chair, calling the shots. MIBR playing.